Welcome back to Unfiltered Convos, and today we will be discussing the Real Housewives of Potomac episode that aired on Sunday. And for me, I'm going to actually surprisingly today give this episode an eight. It was much better than the previous episodes where it wasn't the same persons that were arguing. Um, how much would you rate this episode? Yeah, actually, can agree to. Um, I'll give it an eight as well. Um, an eight. Yeah, it was, it was better than last uh, last uh, last week episode. Um, what else? Yeah, they had fun. It was okay. I learned uh-huh. something new. At least it's not the whole sto- the old storyline they're coming with. I learned something new. I learned something new about Nika. Yeah. Uh, who else? I f- finally get to see Lebe. So yeah, it was uh, yeah. It's interesting. Lebe made, her, Lebe made her grand entrance. She did make her grand entrance. But, yeah. All right. So we started off, but before we get into the episode today, guys, just remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Yeah, run it's that very shit important. Up. Yeah, run it right up. <laughs> we start the scene off with Giselle. She meets up with Ashley, me, and Robin at the fabric store. They were show basically looking for fabric for their tacky athleisure line that they are coming up with. GNA. Um, to me, I was a bit confused because she was asking like Robin and me are like fabrics that they like. So I'm yeah. not sure if they are planning to make that design and name it after them. Just like you know what Robin did with her hats, where she kind of had the ladies model the hats, and I guess she made. Them oh yeah. There. So I don't know if that was like, the reasoning behind having them there and wanting to know what design they actually like. Um, we then also see where they were discussing the invite that Robin says that Karen flipped it on them for not showing up for her sorry trip that she was planning. I feel like they're kind of right with that too. Aren't they? Yeah. No. Yes Even though it was no. 12 hours. I felt like 12 hours could have been like good enough time, but like sometimes you may never know whatever is someone Robin is doing. Is- but is Robin even doing anything for her to not be able to go? Damn right, could they? Her excuse of being that she has to hang with her nephews or, or, or her kids. Like, come on, girl. Like, yeah, so one, one has nothing doing. One has nothing right. doing. He's not and working. And this is your job at the end of the day. Exactly. <laughs> the but, only yeah. income that is coming into their household. You could have more than went to the trip. They also discussed Wendy's event for her husband, which is a Happy Eddie event. And mm-hmm. also, Giselle actually surprised me and said that she's going. Which is really surprising to me. Because... That was a bit surprising to me as well. Yeah. Um. At first, even though we we I mean we know how, the, how that went, but at first I thought she was well maybe wanted to like you know rekindle something with Wendy. I mean, mm-hmm. or or I don't know, but she was there to be messy as per usual. Messy as usual. Then we also move to the next scene where we have Neka. Neka. She was speaking to her Bidu, Bidu business partner. So she has a new wine. I hope I'm pronouncing that wine correctly, but I don't care at this point. Bidu. Or Bidu. Bidu. She then oh, says in the scene Bidu. that she actually drinks champagne and takes her multivitamins in the morning. Yeah, that was crazy. That shit um, is that, crazy. I don't the, know someone who actively, especially on national pregnant. TV, and trying to get pregnant, says that you drink champagne with your with multivitamins meds. or your prenatals. Uh, that shit was crazy. Maybe I was that's like, why you're not getting pregnant. I don't know. I'm 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 a no, uh, scientist, but <laughs> it, that shit. Like I was like, girl, you really just said that on TV. That is crazy. Then we move on to Lebe. Lebe finally made her appearance that she all wanted from the get go. Hence why she pushed Neka to join the show. Mm-hmm. So Lebe made her appearance at the house, and I don't know. Lebe's energy to me just seems dark. It's giving she seems dark, very dark. Like she be just girl, looking around, like she's looking to wonder if the story. I'm pretty sure she's aware, but I'm pretty sure she's just looking around to hope that the storyline that they went with. Is mm-hmm. actually taking place. So she comes in very like yes, giving kind of like mastermindy, kind of yeah. like yeah. yeah. Then but... we have our other friend Chica that stops by the house, and again, I don't know why this girl always pretends like she has not. She's not aware of these friends. <laughs> First of all, these people are mics. 
when they come to the door. Right. And I'm sure she is known what the scene is going to be about. So you acting all surprised, like, oh my god, like, I wonder if my car yeah. is on side. Yeah. That's like, why they, they're up. pulling up. Everybody's pulling up. Like, come on now. It's no just one wants to, to pull up like, to that half-finished uh, <laughs> or half-furnished house. Right. Her house also, again, we know is still not together. She has no furniture. She has no oven. Mm-mm. But she had time to speak about her name being submitted to shrines. <laughs> She like, also says to their friends that she's planning to do a pajama theme unpacking party. I kind of it, that was a bit tacky. I I feel like that it is a bit tacky. I think she should just call it like I don't think it should be like an unpacking event party. I think she should have just pretty much like if she wants to showcase the heart the house because I'm sure that's why she is doing all of it. But this. it's not ready yet. Yeah, maybe do it like what Giselle did when Giselle had a construction site thing that was going True. on and she had something on the outside. Whether you want to have a little, we call it sneak and peek or something yeah. where persons see peak wise, like this is the house, this is the progress. But this unpacking thing, and you really actually had persons come there to unpack. Like yeah, that shit your wedding herself. gifts from two yeah, years, three years ago, years. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Neka then asks Lebe if she's cool with Wendy being there, of course, because that's the only storyline they will have for. And I'm loving that Wendy did not actually show up because I'm sure yeah. they were expecting her to show and up. They so were they expecting could have her. A scene. Yeah. Right. Right. We then move to the next scene. We had Candace and her husband in her home. The most thing I got from this scene is that she asked if she how, how is Chris going to feel when he sees Ashley and Giselle. He said that he doesn't care, and if someone says hello, he will say hello. Which was big of him. He didn't have to say anything nice because what? I mean, why did he go in the first place? Though did he have to go? Because remember, they are friends with Eddie and Wendy, so you're gonna support them. Like despite of Farid and Nick being there, so you're gonna support them at (laughs) at this point. Because, like, I was watching it, and I was like, when she got there with him, and then she, she got to leave, she had to leave because she had some, like, um shooting for her, her show. Yeah. Yeah. So, because mm. me, me being the husband, I was like, uh, but then I remember, they are cool with Wendy <laughs> and, and, and Eddie, so, uh, Eddie. okay, yeah. I'll see that now, I'll see that now. We then move to the next scene. We had Wendy and her husband arrive for the Happy Eddie events. We find out that there is two strands and a third strand that is coming soon Zen for Wen. the line called Zen Wen. Ain't that the uh, name that she wanted to name her podcast? That was one of the other she has been She has been floating around Zen Wen from season six. <laughs> Oh my from god. She came at her second season. It was Zen Wen and Zen, Zen Wen. Wen. Zen and Wen. then I haven't heard her use it until <laughs> this season again when she come back again saying Zen Wen for her podcast. So I guess they have to find a way to sneak in Zen Wen. Zen Wen. Yeah. They find out that they won't be actually rolling weed. I'm assuming this has to do with the laws in Maryland at the time. So mm-hmm. they can actually be rolling weed. Then we also see Ashley arrive and then she saw Chris and then she said she has no interest in speaking to Chris or acknowledging him. What were your thoughts and why on would, that? And, I mean, why would she think that he has any Wants interest to... to speak to her or talk to exactly. her? First of all, exactly. you pissed him the hell off the last time, girl. You lucky. That's the First of all, it's just messy. I don't like yeah. with her and Giselle because you guys started the drama. And it didn't go where you wanted it to go because there was no proof to back up what you guys were saying. And then you feel high and mighty to think that, oh, you want no parts of him. You want nothing to do with right. him. Like, what gives acting you the all, right? Acting all, uh, what should I say now? Like, knowing that she pissed him off by bringing all of that... Mi- Acting all naive, that's the word that I wanted yeah. to uh it, all naive of of the drama that they started. It, which is just crazy. It, it yeah. was crazy. Real crazy. We then also see Karen arrive. As she arrived, she went straight to Mia to clock Mia on her invite for not well, her response to the invite that she sent for her. Sorry. They get into this back and forth where then Karen then <laughs> says that Mia is like um that story counts is basically better than Mia's boring ass life mm-hmm. and then Mia decides to go back and says that Karen needs to find some new trick where Karen then says that Mia is a trick thoughts on um, that exchange Karen was doing too much I felt she kind of like started it 
I mean, anybody come at me crazy, I'm going to come at you crazy. So yeah. I felt like that was what with Mia. Me, I felt like Mia didn't want an issue. I felt like it wasn't all that an issue with her. And Karen turned it into an issue, started saying wild shit, and you just got to expect someone to say wild shit back at you. So well, that's honestly all I speaking, see though, I don't see whatever <laughs> Mia responded for not in coming to the invite why that warrants you need to address the, it yeah it, it did because not. she did not address giselle when giselle <laughs> doubled down like she's not going right she didn't address robin she didn't address anybody else so why are you mm-hmm. addressing mia what is so hard in what mia said like first of all you and mia weren't even that cool because we have seen from the season started it was just handshakes handshakes mm-hmm. so whether she decides not to come last night or anything you sh- that should not necessarily affect you that much because it's not like you and she and were she very actually close responded. she actually sent she responded because she could have yeah. just ignored her ass right. and said i'm not going well <laughs> yeah we then I have think- giselle arrive to the events where she didn't even acknowledge wendy where I don't know why the producer showed this stupid ass flashback where it was it doesn't make it doesn't add up to what Giselle did um, because it shows her going to Ashley's house for her party mm-hmm. and address it. And we saw in that scene when she was hugging Ashley, Giselle did a two step back when whatever. So yeah. you showing these scenes to make it seem that well Wendy does the same thing, this didn't make sense to me. Yeah, it wasn't right for them to do that. Why? Because it's a it's different. And why I say it's different, uh those weren't Giselle's event. Events, this event right. is Wendy's event. Exactly. If you were and gonna she, do that, then you shouldn't have showed up in the first place. That's why she was came there to be check. messy. Or for a check. Or check. Right. Right. Oh, that's, and then they say this is why they are saying like people on Twitter will be saying like um Candice and Wendy need to get off the show because this is why the show is not moving forward. How do you see what Giselle is doing and saying that this is the right direction the show should go in. I mean, doesn't she make could, sense. She could have said if a you're little showing, high. I think that her saying hey. that she was going to the event, she was going to come and be a bigger person, at least say hi. Right. Not telling her to right. hug when they sit in a corner and braid each other's hair. Right. But at least, <laughs> at least come and acknowledge and say hi. She, she, just she as Nekka. Like, just like as what Nekka, Karen we, is doing with Mia. Exactly. Baby we steps. saw Nekka came. I, Nekka came and said thanks for the invite. And I, when they said, I sure, gotta no applaud problem. Nekka for that. I ain't gonna exactly. lie. I gotta applaud her for that. Mm-hmm. So showing up, knowing the situation that they got going on, and she pulled her to the side and she was really humble. I ain't gonna exactly. lie. Exactly. So Giselle and her neck. Then we saw where she then made a comment towards Chris saying that she hasn't seen Chris since the reunion and clearly he has gained some weight. <laughs> And, and this is about it. what this is what is very disturbing. If it was the roles were reversed and she came into the scene and he said that wow, it looks like she has gained some weight. Mm-hmm. The whole Twitter will be going cancer Chris is now body shaming. Like yes, how could right. you? Whatever the case right. like. But then when Giselle does it, it's like he he yeah, that sounds so funny. Like, oh my god, that is so funny. Yes, and he yes, he probably weight. could be stress eating over there and he could be stressed over the money that he lost because of what you did last season. She did. Our and then you're here her sitting bullshit. yeah. But he, yeah. she wants to make it seem like stress eating because and you're going to sit like, there and laugh about it. Mind. Exactly. Mm. Mia then said the she devil. doesn't know of Eddie to have a real job since she met him, which is very funny coming from the girl who said she has so many practices. But right. the only time I've ever seen she go into her practice was when she was trying to for one scene basically where now she does i don't think she even have access to any of these practices so nope. it's funny coming from the girl and that's the thing she came this season very poor very broke living in a studio apartment mm. living in a studio apartment saying that they lost all their money they can't afford all this lifestyle but then she has the nerve to comment on person's lifestyle who are clearly in a better position right now than her someone who's actually trying to make some money it's yeah. very funny to me how she feels the confidence <laughs> to comment right. on on that when they then say she hasn't she hasn't like she you know she thanks everyone for coming and that she hasn't heard the group laugh so well of course giselle knowing giselle has to be negative by saying that did she laugh like she can't i would have responded right there i would have give her a response I'm sure that's what she wants, but at the end of the day, the producers flash back and show her key he laughing. So I'm yeah, like, so like, what's what the reason? Are we doing? What's the exactly. reason? 
Robin decides to then check Mia on the table about their marriage, about her marriage to Eddie, because I believe they had a scene where they were discussing problems, which I don't know how this made it now to the group at the table. Like, if I had a one-on-one right. with you saying I'm having issues in my marriage, yes, it's on camera. I feel like that's too much of a big scene, uh, too much of a right. big crowd. Too Why would you crowd? decide to bring yeah. it up at the table? Suppose I didn't want everybody at the table to know. Suppose I want him to yeah. find out when the episode airs. Suppose I, you Besides, know, so it was you... not just the group of girls. It was just like extended friends there as well. Exactly. Nothing. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. It was not the time. Not the time. Um, We also says that we saw Nico then pull Wendy to the side to say that she would like to have a sit down. Finally, after... 12 episodes wait, 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 the ones wait, that have one. wait can we backtrack a re- uh backtrack real quick did, mm-hmm. did, did we ad- oh yeah saying that she doesn't want says what type of person she would be if she left him in the midst of because that is what she in. wants to do that is so crazy exactly but she is basically getting ahead of the story because we already knew before the season came out mm-hmm. that they were separated so no yeah. she already but... before, remember this is filmed months mm-hmm. in advance so she basically trying to get ahead of the story to make it portray like right. something really happened because you see that I was here, did not want to leave this person in the midst of the situation, but something clearly had to have happened for me to say we need to be separated. She just want to leave. Really, she just wants to leave. She makes it sound like she's already. been held at, like an hostage. Hostage. Yeah. She don't want to be there. Mm-mm. That is crazy. She doesn't want to be a part of it. Anyways... What was an exit? We have, we have Neka who pulls Wendy to the side and then says that she would like to sit down with her to hash things out. Um, it was big up Neka to do that, yes. Yes. And I was taken aback by Wendy's response I to was, it. I was. Because I'm like, yes, it's 12 episodes far in for this girl now to find another one. Pretty much the second half of True. the season when it's coming And I know there's probably hurt and pain because her mom she called her mom yeah. a bitch she called her a bitch um yeah yeah but it's sometimes you gotta like it's how someone comes to you because she could have been an asshole cause, like saying all right let's have a talk but yeah. she really did like she was humble i felt mm-hmm. genuineness just goes back to what she was saying she like she want to know how genuine the situation is but i felt genuineness maybe that's just me but exactly yeah we then move to the next scene. We have me and Gordon. They met up for lunch. They discussed the therapy session mm-hmm. at their their therapy session that they did with their marriage counselor, where then they, they decide to take the advice of therapy by doing more things together. We then also see where Mia says that Gordon wasn't taking any self accountability <laughs> for his action to get them where they are at. And I don't know why she keeps beating a dead horse trying to get this man to be yeah, self that is so sad. Like, he's clearly not going to take accountability. He clearly doesn't see he did anything wrong. Like, you are basically using these reasons for your way out. Right. I agree. I agree. Because and it, it is clear. You don't want to leave him in the midst of the situation, but then you go on camera in public and pretty much show him that you're not supporting him by saying it was his fault for everything. Mm-hmm. Like, where is the support there? Gordon then says he didn't know at the time that Mia wanted to divorce him until he saw the receipts from the lawyer of when she decided to, which is sad. That's Mia sad. says that she was emotionally draining, um, says it was emotionally draining to be in the same habitat with him. She was and just then... fighting to find excuses, excuses to, to <laughs> fill the gap, to, to say the re- to, to explain the reason why she just want to leave. He ain't got no money she and she's go. ready to go. Yeah. I don't know, this scene overall for me, it was probably one of the most genuine scenes of the season. Like we mm-hmm. actually get dive as much as it may be that Mia may be using excuses or ways to get out. Yeah. But I like the the behind the scenes of the marriage, like their yeah. issues for him to actually say on camera that he was right. okay with um arranging like any arrangement. Basically that, what, that that's what he was insinuating, marriage. right? exactly so for him to do all of that on camera is to show you how much he cares for her that he doesn't even want to lose her he's open to the idea yeah and me so cruel because she's like ignoring that what that what he was trying to hint and like 
because she didn't want to be a part of it. You know, in her confession, she was like, I don't know what to say to that. I don't know what to say to that. But like, it's kind of funny you... because I'm sure previous seasons before, she, I think she already stated that they'd done stuff in their marriage or open stuff in their marriage. Mm-hmm. So I don't know why now she's behaving as if like this is Yeah, new she's acting all brand new, don't know what's going on, oblivious to everything, and that's crazy. <laughs> we then move to the scene for Nika's cleanup party. She speaks with her sister no and part. says if Wendy uh, if Wendy does come, it will be like a new beginning. I'm sure she wants a new beginning because she realized that she may not be brought back next season if she doesn't mend fences right. with, with Wendy. She then says to the group that this is the first time she will be sharing her champagne that she takes in the morning time with her medication with the group mm. outside of her. Um, Giselle says uh, she does. She, um, I guess they were asking now uh, if Wendy is showing up, and I think Karen and Wendy's friend, which is weird, why was she there and Wendy's not there? But yeah, Wendy's friend basically says, oh, yeah. um, she's not attending. Well, Wendy won't be able to attend. Of course, Giselle had to put her two cents in by saying right. she should have said it to the host. Yes, she should have said it to the host, but why, Giselle? Why you have to be the one to be saying, yeah, you know, you don't and, like com- and coming at the friend like that, like, <clears throat> wow. Then, of course, Neka decides to tell the girls that she wants to unpack her dusty wedding gifts that she hasn't opened for over two years now. Which everybody was shook like, are we really we're going to unpack? Right. Like, we thought this was just a it's cute like, name. Happen. Yeah, I thought this right. was just a cute name for She was actually party. serious. She was actually serious. Like, she really wanted people to unpack. Like, girl, go get a U-Haul or something. For crazy. Unpack it. Right. Like, crazy. <laughs> Giselle then starts to allude to the fact that if Karen got a touch up on her face, don't know why they keep coming for Karen looks at this point. Giselle, seeing that you like, you to already for know. Looks, Even I'm me and said it. Yours. Me and said seeing it that in she likes to for looks. Said the Botox is all the way to the back. Of <laughs> Giselle <laughs> maybe needs to get a refresh. Then Giselle probably needs to get a refresh. Seeing that she loves to come for people looks, I will be the right. one to come for hers. She needs to go get a refresh as yeah, well. Yeah, they're messy. They know she's like sixty, and like you got to do what you got. You got to do to look beautiful, right? Exactly. Karen and then Mia decide to get into it again, where Mia decides to say that it takes a trick to know a trick. Oh my god. And then Karen says Mia wants her lights. And then we have Karen also says that seeing that the group likes to bring up rumors about her mm-hmm. and her marriage. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I bring up a rumor about your which is the same she thing did, that she kind of did with point. Robin last she... season. Yeah. When they were at that table and they were keep mm-hmm. on bringing Sharice around to bring up stuff. So I think that mm-hmm. is where they were basically so. So then we then move on to where we had um she says that if Mia says um she says that she heard that she has she has been meeting up with a rapper mm-hmm. and also sleeping with a married man. Thoughts on that. And the rumors were and were this is allegedly true. Um, wasn't it not? Because she was meeting he wasn't a rapper, but she was yeah, she actually was meeting up with, with someone. With someone. Yes, yes. <laughs> I ain't gonna but, lie, Karen, um, Karen did make a, a valid point. That's mm-hmm. the only good thing that came from that, where it where it, it pertains to just bringing up rumors about yeah. uh, someone in the group. But the thing with Mia, what makes it hard for you to do stuff like that is, you see, where when you did it with like with a Robin or a Giselle mm-hmm. or the other girls, they are more defensive about it. Mm-hmm. Mia just makes it rolls off and she just answers True. and she just owns up to it. True. So it's kind of hard, she was like, like G was there too and all of yeah. that. <laughs> and it just doesn't hit anymore because you're thinking it's going to be like, oh my God, leave her struck. But then because she makes everything just rolls off of her and she answers it with a question. Like, it, it makes it hard so enough can for we you say, to have a comeback. So can we say she is the, um, the realest housewife this season? Mia? Yeah. I wouldn't say the realest, but I like that she is pretty much game. Like she's not her storyline as it as it pertains to it wasn't it wasn't uh, staged. Yes, this is like yeah. where with Giselle it was and Robin, real. all of them they meet up before the season starts yeah. to film to plan what they are planning to do. Her but life her, somewhat like, played out. It yeah, did. I like that her as us plays if it comes up in the scene, she's not afraid to just address it. Yes, I did that. Yeah, yeah, she didn't yeah. lie much or you know, she, I mean she beat her on the bush a little bit, but she put a little bit out there more than any other housewife, I think. Yeah. This season. I don't know. 
Nekal then <laughs> says she decides to play a game with the group by saying that um so then Robin never have I ever. Robin this uh, yeah never have I fucking yeah, ever yeah. <laughs> and never have I ever have to sit through a boring ass game like what she came she came with so everybody had to write something on a piece of paper and of course Robin decided to bring up to the group that Karen had a screenshot of her family in her phone yeah that was weird this is the thing with Robin. You're saying that you don't like people speaking about your family. You don't like all of this stuff. But then every chance you get, you bring mm-hmm. up your family for it to be the topic of conversation. And then when persons address it now, it's like, oh my God, you're talking about right. my family. Like, and it was the first time she brought it up when you're in a little room thing, doing your little thing. Because it I thought was that was funny a then. Scene, but it I was know, funny. I yeah. knew she was going to use it again. But she brought it up in the scene, knowing her tacky ass and have nothing to talk about other than <laughs> one. I knew she was, was going mad to bring weird. it back up on the show again to say, hey, this is what happened. Because now she wants the whole group to know that Karen is obsessed right. with her obsessed. because everybody really? is so obsessed with her life so yeah. she wants everybody to know that this is and i like Karen what she took need a to page do out of it... mia's book and said mm-hmm. well maybe i did maybe yeah maybe it was yeah. actually i took a lot of yeah. screenshots like she didn't get defensive she didn't she did not that's up. a good yeah giselle mm. then says if karen might like robin's father and i'm like here she go again. Just always got to make something around the dad or the husband or the. She has a thing for she men. Just, I don't know. She, she I don't do. know what's her problem with men. I know her husband let her scarred her so badly, but Maybe, yeah, I don't know what her issue hurt. is. Some, I don't know what her issue is. Some trauma she's... that she needs to like. She needs to get over it at this point. <laughs> because if you're supposedly <laughs> men fences with her, why are we still bringing up the same everything? You always have to allude to the fact that she's doing something outside of her marriage. Or willing mm-hmm. to do something outside of her marriage. It's just ridiculous at this point. Crazy. Well, that was the episode for today. Next week seems like we're going to see them crowning Neka for some reason. The queen mm-hmm. of Potomac now or something. So wait, I, 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 I can't recall seeing Karen in that scene. Was she there? She was at the I don't house. Know. But um, yeah, she was at the house. Yes, we'll see. But we'll see what that brings. Um, Guys, let me know what you guys think about this episode in the comment section below. Please remember to like, share, subscribe. And we'll yeah. see you next week as we discuss the Housewives of Potomac. Bye!